Hello and welcome to Hope at Home, bringing Hearts of Hope Family Grief Camp to where you are. This is Alex Treitler. I'm the Executive Director of Children's Grief Connection. And today I'll be having a conversation with Mary Frank, who happens to be my stepmother and is also a sculptor, a painter, and many other things. We'll be looking at pictures of different projects that she's done and she'll be talking about them. And there are things here that you'd be able to do at home, just with things that you have at home. And if you step outside the door and look for things in nature or just on the street, there are some of these projects that you can do. There'll be a description underneath this video with some links for instructions and videos on how to do some of these projects. And there's also going to be an email address that you can write to with pictures of the projects that you've done. Mary would love to see them. So if you want to take a picture of something that you've done and email it to that email address, then we'll make sure that Mary sees it. Now, because we're all stuck at home and Mary is off in New York, we're going to have to talk with her by phone. So that's how we'll be checking in with her. Mary, are you on the phone right now? Yeah, I am. Oh, I am. okay. Well, I guess you're pretty far away right now. Where Could you tell us where you are? Well, I'm in the Catskills, which is north of New York City. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to share a picture that uh, is a picture of you, so people know who I'm talking to. It's a picture of you with a monarch butterfly. And actually, I'm going to zoom in at, on it a little bit so people can see what this butterfly looks like, and then back again to what you look like. So um, I'm looking at this picture and I see a big glass jar. Um, what does that big jar, it has flowers in it. Um, there's a little <clears throat> plastic wrap over the top. Is that, does that have anything to do with the butterfly? Oh, yeah. Well, I look for the eggs in uh, usually around August. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe September, the butterfly eggs that have been laid, just one, always underneath a leaf of, an, always on milkweed, because that's what the caterpillars eat. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I take this tiny dot, size of a period, on the leaf, in, put it in a jar, and out of that tiny dot, the egg, comes the tiniest caterpillar you can hardly see it's so small mm -hmm. but it just eats and eats all day it doesn't sleep and all day and night and uh, finally gets the size of an adult finger and then makes a most beautiful jade green cocoon with gold really gold on it wow. and uh, then after some time becomes a butterfly and comes out of the cocoon and in this picture, the, it's come out, and it's on my finger, mm -hmm. uh, because it comes out wet, and it needs to dry its wings and stiffen them so it can fly off, which it did after a bit. So in the description, I've also put a link to some pages that people can look at about where to find the eggs on milkweed leaves and how to take the eggs and put them inside a jar or something like what you have there, which looks very pretty. Um, and to watch, it's something that you can do at home. So I'm going to show another picture. And I was wondering, is this sculpture a portrait of somebody you know? Is there a real person that this is a picture of or a, a, a sculpture of? Um, no, it's not. It's mm -hmm. um... All my life I make figures, men, women, children, animals, a lot of animals, birds, mammals. And uh, it's a, probably a young woman, not a particular woman. Mm -hmm. And she's thinking, I'm not sure what she's thinking. Well, I was just going to ask, I was just gonna ask you about that, if, if you knew what she was thinking or feeling. Well, I think she's thinking more than one thing, as we mostly do. Huh. And uh, she's just maybe contemplating and maybe some sad things or some lovely things. 
and she's sort of waiting with mm. her arms down. Yeah. And the bird came because I feed birds, and the bird feeder is near the sculpture, so the bird was on its way up to get some food mm -hmm. and stopped and just sat on her hand for a few seconds. This is something that I think is really interesting. We talk about it at the grief camp that you can feel lots of different feelings even at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you all can, of us. All of us mm. can. And making things is a very good place for putting all kinds of feelings, difficult mm. ones, angry ones, sad ones, funny ones, you know, surprising ones. And when I'm making things, I can't know necessarily before what it's going to be like at all. Yeah. Do you think that this making pictures or even sculptures mm. of a person's face is something kids could do at home? Of course they can. Yeah. They can do it with whatever they have. If you have paints, if you have crayons, if you have pencils, if you have charcoal, whatever you have. And you can draw on paper, on cloth, on stones, on wood, on leaves that you find. You can dry them or work, you can draw on them while they're still fresh. And it's just lovely, lovely thing to do. doesn't really cost almost anything. Yeah. And you discover things. And discovering things is really delicious. Well, you know, you were talking about drawing on stones. And so I'm going to show another picture. It's, I don't want to say beautiful, because beautiful makes you think of something that's perfect. And it, I don't think that you try for perfect things. No, not at all. Not at no. all. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't interest me one bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really an amazing picture. Is this something that you think kids could do at home too? Well, I think kids can do, you know, anything. And the more they invent, the better, better it gets. Yeah. I mean, everybody does, you know, finds their own thing. And depending on where they live mm -hmm. and what the climate is, they can find, you know, you can make little animals or figures out of twigs. I'm going to show another picture. Um, and this is a picture of a cutout uh, of a figure of a person. And there's a background underneath the cutout. You might not be able to tell right away, but I'm going to tell people who are looking at this that that is a leaf. And that seems like a really, a really neat project for someone to do as well. So I'm going to show an another picture. Um, and this is a, a very special project, uh, but it's definitely a project that people can do at home. Could you tell us about this project? Yeah, it's a wonderful way to start seeds. So we've got these eggshells, and you don't wash them out when, they're, when you've taken the egg out, and you just put the shells, you can put them back right in the, you know, the box. Mm -hmm. and put some earth in and try different seeds and see what you get. Yeah. And they are getting food, as we're getting food from the egg, they're getting food from what's left in the shell. Oh. And uh, you usually get very nice little plants, which then you do need to transplant mm -hmm. into, of course, a bigger, a bigger pot or outside. And what kind of seeds, what kind of plants... Do you think are good to plant? Well, you could try flower flowers. You could try, you know, if you want to try radishes or, you know, some vegetables. Yeah. And then when they're, you know, about, I don't know, six, seven inches high, depending on what they are, you just put the whole shell. You pick up the whole shell. You don't take the oh, earth or okay. plant out. Okay. And you put that because the roots can go right through the cracked shell. So I'm going to show another... Um, exciting project that you've done. Um, and this is a picture of you with a big contraption. What do you call this contraption? What is that? It's yeah. a solar cooker. Solar cooker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's how you can cook with the sun. It gets very hot. You need a pot holder when you're cooking with it. Mm -hmm. And you can cook meat, fish, bread, rice, beans, Okay. And you can make one yourself. They give you the design free, or you can buy one. I think they're about $50, which is less than for anything else you can cook with. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's very uh, astonishing that uh, the sun is free. 
Yeah. And well, I will say that I'm, I've included in the description, there's a short video about how to make a solar oven from a pizza box. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So That's I think great. Yeah. something that kids could do or anybody can do right at home. I'm showing another picture now of a different kind of solar cooker and you've made a cake. I hope you have, I hope you all just try lots of different things and really have, you know, pleasure and fun with it. Well, thank you very much, Mary. And um, thank you, Alex. Yeah. 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 Lovely, lovely. And yeah, I'll be very interested to see any pictures of things you make. Uh, and I encourage people to do that. There's an email there that you can use to send a picture. Okay. Well, thank you for today. We'll talk okay, to you again. Okay. Thank you. Gracias a todos. Gracias. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Bye.